Yo, what is up YouTube? And today I'm going to be talking about how you guys can easily defeat Nightmare Mode Executioner Carcanus. Now, this boss is pretty annoying because he does have that stealth and a barrier which you actually need to dispel off of him and or he will actually heal. And because of the fact that he has so many debuffs with his adds and just does a ton of damage in the last phase. So, this is the team that I use. I use Shu, Ran, Dien, and Elena. And we'll talk about why. So, the MVP unit here is going to be Shu. She does a ton of damage. She has AoE reach for the stealth with her S3. She has critical hit resistance and immunity for herself. Uh, the critical hit resistance will also go on her team as well, which is very nice because the boss does a ton of damage. And the immunity for herself would stop it so that the adds cannot actually debuff her, which is very important because if you get debuffed, you can't actually hit the boss because you risk miss missing, and if you miss, the boss will actually counterattack you. Also, as you guys probably already know from PvP, she was very annoying because of her counterattacks, and the counterattacks are going to be very good into this fight. Her S2 also does a ton of damage and gives her healing, and her S1, as you guys know, will give you that chance to actually activate that S2, which makes her very good. You want her on the exclusive equipment that will actually have a 40% chance to activate your S2 after you S1, obviously, and counter set is going to be the best. You can run her on speed set, though, if you really want. doesn't really matter because you're not going to have her in the front line. Next, I like to use Ran. So Ran is going to be a unit that can be replaced by other units such as like Dizzy. You can even use like SC Jenna if you want. Uh, but Ran is very good because he has that AoE damage in his S3, which hits pretty hard. Skill Nullifier, which will make him you know, a lot more tankier in longer fights for the boss. And he also has a defense break, which is very, very nice. Also has S2 to give immunity to everyone, which is very, very important because yeah, the boss has a lot of debuffs. And if you do end up getting debuffed, your S2, because it's an extra turn, you'll actually be able to dispel it off very quickly by yourself. And his S1, of course, which will do a lot of damage. Now, these are your two damage dealing units for Shu. You just want to make sure she's at least 85% crit chance because she's ice. And then pretty much 20k health and then as high crit damage as you can. For Ran, you want him to be at least about like 260, 270 speed. And you want him on full damage afterwards. You don't really need effectiveness because... If you're manualing the boss, you're just going to be soul burning his S3 anyways because you should have full souls. Now looking at the support. So we're going to run two support units here. The one that I like to run the most is going to be Dien. You can replace her with another soul weaver like a Momo and stuff like that. But Dien is going to be extremely, extremely powerful here because she has an attack buff, critical hit resistance buff as well, which makes her team a lot tankier. She has a cleanse in her S2 that cycles very quickly, so you're going to be dispelling very, very often. She has CR push for your team with your exclusive equipment. Has pretty good healing with Rod of Amaryllis or even Unfading Memories if you have her own artifact. And she's just very, very good. You want her to be decently fast because you want her to be cycling this S2 as much as you can while keeping up attack buff and critical hit resistance buff for your team. And you also want her decently bulky. Now, a lot of people like to aim for actually 200% effect resist. I actually have 100%, which is completely useless in this fight for, for my DN. But honestly, if you're fast enough, and you actually have another Soul Weaver that can cleanse with her. You don't really need an effect of this from, from what I've seen. Because you're not going to even be having her in the front line anyways. Just have her decently fast with decent bulk and you should be good to go. Next we have Elena. So Elena, she's going to be a very very good unit for this fight. Because of the fact that her S1 will constantly cleanse every time she uses it. One debuff from two allies. So very very powerful. For that reason you want her on counter set. You want her in the front row. You want her on Celestine because you want her to get hit as much as you can so you can actually proc the counter and dispel debuffs from your allies. For her exclusive equipment, you want the one that will actually dispel one debuff from all allies when you use your S3 because, yeah, you just want to dispel as much as you can. Very, very powerful for this fight. And she wants to be at 200% effect resist as well because you don't want to end up getting provoked by the adds. Now, if you don't have Elena, guys, you can use another Soul Weaver. Uh, I like to use something like a mid because a mid also has... Pretty decent cleansing, oh, not a Momo. Amid has pretty decent cleansing because her S2 gives her an extra turn, so she'll actually cycle the debuffs off herself if you don't have her on high effect resist. And her S3 will actually dispel two debuffs. Now, if you do use a mid, uh, you're definitely going to have to manual the boss. I manual the boss anyways because it's just faster, um, but with a mid, you can't really auto it as consistently as with Elena because, yeah, Elena just has a lot more cleansing with that S1 and also with that S3. So let's see how this team actually works. It's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of people actually auto this boss with this team. I just find it more faster to manual it. And if you auto, sometimes the boss run can take pretty long because if you don't hit the boss out of stealth, if you don't get lucky with your RNL procs and you don't actually land your defense break and stuff like that, 
what ends up happening is the boss just keeps healing and the fight just goes on for literally 20 minutes. I think one time I actually autoed this boss, it literally took me 20 minutes because I was getting very unlucky with my extra turns and my counterattacks, so I just manual to make it faster. I personally recommend manualing this boss. All the other ones are a lot easier to actually auto, but this boss actually has so much healing and it's just super annoying if you auto it, but if you really want to, you can auto it with this team. Um, I think the core unit here is definitely Shu, like I mentioned. Rand can be replaced by like Dizzy and SC uh, Jenna. Tian can be replaced by like Angelic Montrancy, and Elena can be replaced by like a mid. But you know, these four are going to be your best bet for this boss. So let's see how this boss run actually goes. I always give my all. I'll show you the path to victory. I'll take down anyone who you me. Don't forget this feeling. Please. Brace yourselves, bio fiends! We'll be done before you know it! Are you doubting me? Huh? I'm not too late! Sparkling, dazzling love! Grant me your power! How should we do this? In the name of the goddess! More magical power! Want me to take care of that? Here I <laughs> Children of the stars will be saved. Alright. Show me what you can do. Brace yourselves, bio fiends. You can call me. Magical Girl D. I always give my all. I'll level play with you. I'll take down any whether you win or lose. I was determined in an instant. How should we do this? <gasps> How can I help? Ha! The stars light our way. Huh? I'm not too late. No matter what hardships await me, I will regret nothing. All right. Show me what you can do. Uh. Okay. I always give my own. Shall I get serious now? I'll take down anyone who interferes with your step back. I'll slash your justice in two. Brace yourselves, vile fiends! I will protect you with all my might. Great job! Keep it up! Please help! <laughs> I always give my <laughs> Alright, show me what you can do. Look beyond the <laughs> sky. You can call me. Magical Gold D. How can I help? How should we do this? I'll level play. Alright. Show ready? me what you can do. Don't forget this feeling. Please. Are you doubting me? Stardust. Soar into the night sky. In the name of the goddess, I'll illuminate the darkness. With the full potential of love. Want me to take care of that? I'll take down anyone who interferes with me. Brace yourselves, bio fiends! Holy flash! I always give my all. The stars light our way. Ta -da! Here comes Arky! Sacred power! We'll be done before you know it. Too late. Ah. Ah. I'll 
take down anyone who wants to show you the victory. How should we do this? Whether you win or lose, I is determined in an instant. You can call me Magical Stop. Girl D. Children of the Stars will be saved. I'm not too late. Sparkling, dazzling love, grant me your power. 